Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are doing a warm up, a full body warm up. It's gonna be energetic, but it's also gonna ease you in with dynamic stretches, which are so, so good to do before a workout to reduce your risk of injury, but also to allow yourself to get the most out of your workout by activating the muscle groups that you're about to use, by practicing your form and technique before you do that under load or additional resistance. It's a really good way to start and I hope that you enjoy it. If you do like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know how you found it and what you wanna see next on this channel. And make sure that you click subscribe to join this little family. I'm really putting a lot of my like time, effort and heart into this channel and trying to upload more. So if you want to join, that would be amazing. Without further ado, let's get straight into the warm up. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, let's start this warm up. Oh, almost dropped the microphone. Great start. Jog with big arm circles is what we're doing first. Are you ready? And go. So. We're just getting that blood flowing, really. Well, to be honest, I would hope your blood was already flowing before we started this. But we're getting it flowing a little, little faster with the heart rate going, big arm circles, reaching up to the ceiling, bringing them down in front of you, loosening up, reverse the other way with the arms, and just, yeah, just mentally and physically preparing for the workout that you had ahead of you. We're doing 40 seconds of each movement and going straight into the next with no rest, okay? So, next step, side lunge and arm circles, ready and go. Lunging out to the side. <laughs> and imagine you've got like a dishcloth in both hands and you're just cleaning two windows really efficiently, getting your side lunges in. Because you're that kind of person. You take any opportunity to maintain a clean environment while working out. Hips are back, weight is through the heels, arms are nice and high, doing tiny little circles, reversing the other way. Keep going, breathing through. Next up, we've got a dynamic stretch, big stretch to squat in five, four, three, two, and go. So reach up nice and tall on your tiptoes, as tall as you can and then squat down with the arms inside of the knees and shift from side to side. And reverse, reach up as high as you can and then squat down. You can, yeah, shift and wherever you're feeling it in the hips, you can just lean into that. We're doing like dynamic stretches where we move through the range of movement as that is a great way to start um, when you're not warmed up yet. So whatever you're feeling, by the way, listen to your body. If there's somewhere that's particularly tight and you're like, oh, I'm gonna hang here for a bit, then feel free to do that. But we're moving on <laughs> to the lunge with the open arm stretch. So I want you to lunge forward and um, feeling that stretch in the quad. And we're gonna open the arms out to each side. So really squeezing the shoulder blades together at the top, opening those arms as wide as you can feeling that stretch, breathing through and moving through. Doing so well. This movement feels quite pretty actually, doesn't it? I feel a bit majestic. No? Yeah? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, other leg and go. The swapping sides. Um, with the whole lunge thing, I want you to still try and engage the core a bit and make sure that you're not sticking out your lower back or overarching your lower back so you're feeling that stretch in the quad um, as you open out side to side cat trying to get involved as usual um, open out side to side feeling that stretch squeezing the shoulder blades at the top so you're also warming up the upper body and engaging those muscles then we're going to do downward dog to cobra So starting off in the downward dog position. So shoulders nice and strong, chest presses into the mat. You can walk your legs as well, heels towards the ground to feel the stretch. Then we reverse it and we bring the upper body up off the mat. You can roll the head and neck. Oh, just feeling that stretch. You can shift from side to side. Again, listening to your body. We've all been through different stuff today or over the last week or so. You might have different areas that are tight. So feel free to Hang in either position. But 
keep moving. Next, it's cat v cow and go. So on your hands and knees, so hands below shoulders, knees below hips. We're gonna arch the back, rolling the head and neck. And then we're gonna reverse it, really stretching out the lower back. <laughs> pressing the hands into the mat and you can turn your hands to face your knees to really stretch out the wrist as well so you can double up with this wherever you're feeling tight you can rock back and forth with it stretching out the next movement that we've got is the leg crossover we'll do this in three two one and go so laying on the ground with your arms out to either side i want you to bring one leg up and over so you're trying to like touch it to the opposite hand depending on how flexible you are you might not be able to reach it but you do want to try and keep your shoulders as glued to the mat as you can as it goes to each side but you're just feeling that stretch in the hamstrings in the hips in the back lifting up engaging the core as well side to side I love this movement, it's so challenging um, to do well actually, I need to <laughs> do that one a little bit more. And then we're up on our feet for some knee hugs. So hug the knee into the chest and we're also going to do some ankle swirls some turns as well. So twist that ankle, rotate rather that ankle, don't twist your ankle, that's not a great shout. Um, rotate the ankle as you hug the knee into the chest, feeling the stretch in the glutes Hug it a little higher, a little tighter. Oh my goodness. I love this move. I find it really comforting to do knee hugs. I'm like, oh, isn't this lovely? Nice little hug. <laughs> and then next we've got the knee up and out. You ready? And go. So we're opening up those hips. So lifting the knee all the way up, open out to the side, keeping the chest facing forward, marching through. Keep your balance. Really open out those hips. Keep moving. Getting as wide a range of movement as possible. Ready to take on the workout, feeling a bit loose. Or you can do this before stretch session actually, um, because it's best to stretch warm or you know active muscles. Muscles that have been active rather. And that's it. Well done. Thank you so much for warming up with me. I hope you enjoyed it and that you're feeling a bit more relaxed and loose and ready for your workout. I will see you very soon. Bye.